Moving to a new home in a new country always means numerous runs to IKEA, many hours of assembling furniture, first puzzles, building a household system from scratch, first walks and visiting new places. And this is what happened to us in October 2022. But let's start from the very beginning. So, having gone through a difficult journey, we finally got to our new home in Slovenia. The house looked cozy and spacious inside. Alice immediately began to study everything. She played with pots and dishes, and she liked experimenting with gravel outside. And this is what our first morning looked like in a new place. We had breakfast. By the way, I remember how surprised we were at the size of Slovenian blueberries. Then we made a shopping list and headed to IKEA because we had practically no furniture. These months we visited IKEA more than once. It was so much fun to do it together and to choose new things for the house. Of course, we weren't able to take all the furniture from IKEA ourselves, so we ordered delivery for large items. But the most interesting thing lay ahead, namely the assembly of all the purchased furniture and making a house feel more like a home. <laughs> hours were spent assembling the furniture. You can believe me, I have never tightened so many screws in my life. Neither did Roma. And at some point we even decided that from now on we would always order furniture assembly. But who really liked this activity was Alisa. At one and a half years old she learned what a screwdriver, nails, bolts and nuts are. She was very enthusiastic about opening all kinds of boxes, tightening bolts, playing with screwdriver and testing the strengths of the assembled furniture. 
By the way, we used the remaining empty furniture boxes as canvas and painted on them. It was very funny. We also bought a coffee machine and I remember this nice feeling of drinking first cup of coffee in the new place that started to look like our home. We now had cozy kitchen for delicious meals and long tea parties, home offices for work, sofa and TV for cozy movie nights, comfortable bedroom to relax and recharge the soul, and Alisa had her children's room with small bed and a tiny table for her happy, independent and creative development. Settling into our new home came with a couple more challenges. First, we registered with the hospital just in case we needed medical help. Then finding the right kindergarten for Alisa was also important. After visiting several places and doing lots of research, we finally found one that felt perfect for her. Navigating the grocery store in a new country was a new experience for us too. Everything seemed unfamiliar at first. You are not sure what to take or what will taste good, but over time we discovered new favorite foods. The fruits and vegetables here tasted even better than what we were used to back in Russia. And I liked adorable small cars for children. It was heartwarming to see Alisa cutely navigating through the store, carefully selecting items and pretending to be just like us. It added a sweet touch to our shopping experience and made us smile at her enthusiasm. Despite the challenges, we embraced the beauty of our new surroundings. We started to explore beautiful landscapes and hidden gems of Slovenia. Our journeys took us to Ljubljana, capital of Slovenia. It was especially beautiful in autumn. A river framed by beautiful embankments and bridges, beautiful willows, a hill with an old fortress on top, charming cafes, very friendly locals. All this created a feeling of coziness and comfort. For Halloween we went to one of the famous castles in Slovenia, Bogensper Castle. We were lucky with the weather. The fog made the castle grounds look even more mystical. And we had fun exploring the gardens and charming alleys filled with pumpkins and spooky decorations. The whole experience was so enjoyable that we decided to make morning trips to castles a tradition every Halloween. I noticed something really cool about autumn here – the fox. Almost every morning a misty fog covered the countryside, making it look like it was from a fairy tale. By now I have a big collection of videos of Slovenian fox. I really like the atmosphere they make. One more special thing I discovered about autumn in Slovenia was the red leaves in the forest. They made our walks in the woods even more exciting. We loved crunching through the fallen leaves and admiring the vibrant colors all around us. And I spotted spider webs. There were a lot of them in Slovenia. They beautifully shimmered in the sunlight. 
With each passing day, Slovenia began to feel more like home. As we settled into our routines, made friends with the locals, and explored the hidden gems of our new country, we knew that our decision to move was the beginning of an exciting chapter in our lives. Добрый день! Вот-вот, вот-вот, очень похоже. 